say whatever the fuck I want. Who gonna pop me? Nobody. Man, there ain't nobody at home to pop. You see? You can say what you want and go home by yourself. Well, yeah. I say whatever the fuck I want. Ain't nobody home to pop you single. There's a lot of you ladies out here that have homegirls like this. That's probably giving you relationship advice. But singles like a mother. Girl, you don't gotta take that shit. You this what I would have did. But you don't have no man to do it to. And y'all be listening to these single ass heifers. <laughs> You know what that is? The upper room, the mother you singing about? The upper room. That's right, tell you what. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. When white people be white people in, it never ceases to amaze me. I'm being real. White folks, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because ain't. Ain't no black person doing that right there. When y'all be white people in boy, y'all telling y'all fearless. Fearless. That and and some with nature. That and some with nature. Oh my God. Y'all are fearless. This man just flipped over. How many stories is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This man flipped over the top of a 16 story building. Every time I see somebody walking with their dogs not on the leash, I be thinking this finna happen to me. This is my biggest fear. Oh, he's friendly. He's friendly. Every time I see somebody walking around with their dog not on the leash, I be this, this the first thing that run through my mind. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your dog run up on me. It's gonna be me or him. I, yes, I'm a human being. You feel me? And a lot of times, I don't be in the mood. And to me, I feel as though sometimes dogs don't be in the mood neither. Think about it now. Sometimes your dog don't be in the mood. You don't speak dog. So you don't know when he is not in the mood. But you just decide to have him out here on a le without no leash. You don't speak dog. Y'all need to stop acting like y'all speak dog. I hate bums. I think that I, I think that this is bum activity. Um, I don't know how many I follow ATL Scoop, but ATL Scoop be posting videos of these young kids out here in Atlanta driving up to people's cars, breaking the windows, going head first inside these people's car and taking bags, taking luggages with dirty clothes in it. Um Yeah, bro. I, I think y'all some bums, dog. Y'all some bums. And I pray to God that I don't walk I don't walk up on somebody breaking into any one of my automobiles. Because it's gonna be slow songs and church bells for you. Now some of y'all might be like, yo, this is harsh. Why you feel like that? Yo. Every single day. I go to work. I risk my life. Not, not just YouTube. Like, YouTube pays good money, too. But my 9 to 5, one wrong move. One unsafe move. 
I'm up out of here. This is facts. So for me to have to go through all that, come home and, you know, spend my well-earned money just to have you come take some shit from me? I'm sending you to meet your ancestors. Come with me to get a toe BBL. So this is the before. These are my generational toes. By generational, I mean I can't do shit about them because they've been passed on to me for generations. Yeah, damn, However, them things I can, are so tough. I can enhance them, and that's where we're at today. I'm a little shy because what them they things are tough. Inspection time. She took a good look at it. She said acrylic toe, and they want full reconstruction on all of them. Time to get wet. What I love about my toes is that they are shapeshifters. They shapeshift into light bulbs, minions, Among Us characters, and the big one into Mike Kowalski. Please just trust the process. They talking shit. They talking shit. <laughs> trust the process. Una orden de queso para my shunt. Can you guess the color? This woman is brave for not wearing any gloves. Best believe she got herself a $50 tip. This is a toe reveal. Okay, white toes. You know what they say about the white toes. White she got toes, white toes equals she good Gucci. I'm so obsessed that this is how I'm going to be driving. I'm going to put these bad boys to work tonight with my man. Go, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come with me to get a tip. She said, I'm going to put them bad boys tonight with my man and go, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You better not touch your man with them goddamn crustaceans. Yo, her feet are huff, bro. I ain't gonna lie, my feet ugly too, but nah. Nah, she got Cyclops toes, bro. Hell nah, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going, she got Cyclops toes. This is what being celibate for over three years has taught me. Your sexual energy is so much more powerful than you realize. We live in a society today where everybody treats their sexual energy like a joke. They're giving it away to computer screens, pornography, one night stands, giving it away to people who don't genuinely care about them and that aren't going to be their lifetime partners. See, understand when you stop wasting your sexual energy and instead you hold on to it, you beat that lust demon that has its claws in about nine. 99% of people out here, see, when you finally beat lust and you are in charge of your own impulses and your own urges, your own sexual energy, you cultivate a level of inner fortitude, of strength, of vitality you never knew was possible. See, when I finally started retaining my seed and stopped giving away my sexual energy to people and fucking computer screens that didn't deserve it, guess what? That's when I really started to level the fuck up and make these big fucking improvements in my life physically mentally emotionally financially spiritually in every single aspect see that is your vigor that is your life force energy don't waste your sexual energy don't take it for granted when you hold on to that and you allow that to build up within you you find you are so filled with creativity vigor and drive like you have never felt before this is what being i ain't gonna lie i love the message but he needs some ass he needs some ass. There's no reason why he out here looking like One Punch Man. But the message, I, I, I am, I admire the message. I admire the message because we are out here addicted to pornography. You feel me? We are definitely out here being brainwashed by the internet and. Because everything is overly sexualized. Yeah, bro. But he need I feel as though he has reached his his um his pinnacle and it's it's time to reap reap the benefits of your celibacy. So sir, please go get you some coochie. Please.